You know who we didn't haven't talked to yet? Actually, we haven't talked to Joker. What was that? Oh. Uh -huh. Tell me something personal, Joker. I, I prefer gold to silver, you know, for my metal. I figured you'd recommend me for one since I uh, pulled your boots out of the fire. <laughs> I I'm more I like the way silver looks better. <laughs> If we present you with a medal, you'll end up sitting on stage listening to politicians make speeches for a couple of hours. That's a good point. They'd probably make me shave, too. I spent the last seven weeks working on this baby. No medal's worth that. So, Commander, why don't you tell me why you're really here? Uh... How's the Normandy performing? Is she everything they said she'd be? She's the best ship in the fleet. If you've got a pilot who knows how to handle her. Balance isn't what you'd expect. Takes a while to get used to that oversized drive core we got stuffed in the back, and her power can sneak up on you if you're not careful. The Normandy's probably too much ship for your average Alliance pilot, Commander. Lucky for you, I'm anything but average. <laughs> okay. I like to know my crew. Mind if I ask you a few questions? <laughs> I can see where this is going. You did a background check on me, didn't you? Well, I'll tell you the same thing I told the captain. You want me as your pilot. I'm not good. I'm not even great. I am the best damn helmsman in the Alliance fleet. Top of my class in flight school, I earned that. All those commendations in my file, I earned every single one. Those weren't given to me as charity for my disease. <laughs> are you contagious? What are you talking about? Are you sick? You mean... You mean you didn't know? Oh, crap. Okay, I've got Vrolic syndrome, brittle bone disease. The bones in my legs never develop properly. They're basically hollow, too much force, and they'll shatter. Even with crutches and my leg braces, it's hard to get around. One wrong step and crack! It's very dramatic, but I've learned to manage my condition, Commander. Put the Normandy in my hands and I'll make her dance for you. Just don't ask me to get up and dance unless, you know, you like the sound of snapping shin bones. Damn. <laughs> um... I need to know more about this Brolix syndrome if I'm putting my ship in your hands. Yeah, of course you do. It's an extremely rare condition. Nobody knows exactly what causes it. Genetic, maybe. It's treatable, but there's no cure. They classify my case as moderate to severe. I was born with over a dozen fractures, hip, thighs, ankles. My bones were already breaking in the womb. A hundred years ago, I wouldn't have survived past my first year. Lucky for me, modern medical science has turned me into a productive member of society. <laughs> Uh, You're not going to break a bone trying to fly the ship, are you? Uh, I don't fly with my feet, Commander. So I'm <laughs> fine as long as I'm in this chair. I got to be real careful when I get up to take a piss, though. I can do my job as well as anyone on the ship. Better, actually. So don't worry about it. I'm not trying to make you uncomfortable. Let's talk about something else. Whatever you want, Commander. Why does everyone call you Joker? It's a lot shorter than saying Alliance Flight Lieutenant Jeff Moreau. Plus, I love to make little children laugh. <laughs> I was just thinking how much you remind me of Santa Claus. Look, I didn't pick the name. One of the instructors in flight school used to bug me about never smiling. She started calling me Joker, and it stuck. Why didn't you ever smile? Hey, I worked my ass off in flight school, Commander. The world's not going to hand you anything if you go around grinning like an idiot. By the end of the year, I was the best pilot in the academy. Even better than the instructors, and everybody knew it. They'd all got their asses kicked by the sickly kid with the creaky little legs. One guess who was smiling at graduation. <laughs> cool. Okay. Uh... I have to go. All right, see ya. That was interesting. Uh... Yeah, I think he was like the last one I had to talk to, so... Um, take the usual crowd. Oh, Liara's there now. She's like, it's just all biotics. <laughs> but that's, I already am all biotics, so. That seems redundant. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. What does XO mean? Rear Admiral. Rear Admiral Mihailovic, 5th Fleet. 
Surprise. Uh, salute. Commander Shepard, SSV Normandy. You don't know who I am, do you, Commander? Oh. I command the 63rd Scout Flotilla. You and the Normandy were slated for my unit after shakedown. Then the Council got their paws, claws, tentacles, whatever. They got them on our ship and you. Uh... Captain Anderson made it clear to me that my assignment came from way up in the brass. They say jump, I say how high. Remember that when I tell you to jump. I don't begrudge the politician's decision to throw you to the council. It's an opportunity. I do begrudge this over-designed piece of tin, though. Uh... You don't approve of the Normandy's design? This experiment diverted billions from our appropriations bills for the same price we could have had a heavy cruiser. But no, we had to make nice to the Turians, throw money at a co-developed boondoggle. I'm here to make an inspection, Commander. Normandy is an Alliance warship. I intend to see she's up to snuff. Uh... I'm sure you'll find everything in order, Admiral. I'll just bet. Wait here. I won't be long. Okay. Commander, I'm not happy. About what? did what? you find out of order? Who designed that CIC? Putting the commander aft of everyone else is inefficient. What if he needs to discuss with the operators toward the bow? I have no idea what the words he just said are. I, I, which way's bow? I know there's bow and stern. And then he said aft. And... Putting the commander aft, aft of everyone else. Like after? Like behind? What is the CIC? Um, except personal radios. We use our suit or uniform radios. Anyone who needs to talk to me keys into my line. It's as if they're next to me. Which only works so long as you all have working radios. Maybe your DC drills should include sign language. I had to shake my head at that drive core of yours. 120 billion credits of element zero to make this thing able to move without giving itself away. You realize we could make drive cores for 12,000 fighters with that money? What good is it to hide for a few hours anyway? Useless. Oh my god. This dude is like a real douche. <laughs> I wish I could say these, but oh well. It also makes us the fastest ship in the fleet. Without the Tantalus core, Eden Prime would be a smoking crater right now. Eden Prime does have a smoking crater on it, Commander. Don't break your arm patting yourself on the back. And we need to talk about your crew, Commander. Krogan? Asari? Turians? What are you thinking, Commander? You can't allow alien nationals free access to Alliance equipment. Uh... I want to say I want to say this one really, that. but apparently I just have to apologize to him, or say you assume I have a choice. The simple fact is I'm also part of the council's chain of command now. They expect a joint effort. I'm providing one. The council expects a whole hell of a lot from the alliance, Commander. They better start giving back real damn soon. You have anything else to say, Commander? Any other justifications for the state of this vessel? Oh my god, I want to kick his fucking ass. <laughs> None, sir. Very well. I'll be sending my report and corrective recommendations to the Joint Military Command. Not that I expect them to do anything about it. Too many interest groups have too much money invested in this. Ah. Uh. Commander Shepard? So now I wish I had like the charm and stuff, or not charm, the intimidate one there. But, because I would, yeah, I would have liked to tell that dude he's a dick. I probably should have chosen some of the more rude options. But they were kind of like rude to my crew and stuff like that, so I was like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. A Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. Cool, cool. Uh... Check out 
forgot about this long ass elevators. And then there's another one right there. <laughs> that I think I have to use, right? Where am I going? Am I in the lower wards right now? Commander Shepard, oh. sorry to bother you. This is Lieutenant Girard down in the docking bay. There is a woman here. Uh, she was rescued from Batarian slavers a few weeks ago. She is from Mindwar. I guess she was taken in the raid on your town. Uh, well, this is like backstory stuff. You mean she was taken in the raid that killed my parents? Yes, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. She got free somehow, grabbed a gun from one of my guys. Now she's holed up here in the docking bay. She, uh, she says she wants to die. I hoped you'd talk to her. It's a long shot, but you went through the same thing. The raid. I figured maybe you could talk her out of her tree. <laughs> Let her do it. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm not trained for that, but I'll do what I can. Anything you could do would be great. I don't want to. Uh, she's been through enough. I'll have my men stand by for you. Okay, where is that? Uh... Is that a main one? No, okay. It's not a mission. Ah. In the Citadel docking bay. Is that up where I just was? I'm gonna go do my other stuff first. Um, if I can remember what it is. Citadel security. Um. Come on. Lower wards. Okay. Why was I going? Oh, I want to go to the. I don't know what this is for. Huh. That's weird. Wait, what? <laughs> How do I use this? Oh, it's an elevator. Huh. Okay. Dead elevator music. Do you ever regret leaving Citadel Security to pursue Saren, Garrus? Fighting a rogue specter with countless lives at stake and no regulations to get in the way? I'd say that beats c -Sack. I'm pleased that the imminent destruction of all organic life has improved your career opportunities. <laughs> that was pretty funny. It's a long ass elevator. Just like all of them. Okay, there we go. I should have just taken the, whatchamacallit, because I know where I want to go. Ooh, a keeper. Have I already gotten, oh, I've already gotten him. Lame. This is where I want to be though, so, it's good. Oh, hey, it's like a reporter chick. Okay, she doesn't want to talk. I think this is the place. This isn't a proof of purchase. It's a bank statement. It shows that I bought something from you, and I bought it. Well, then. Best place on this ward to buy upgrades. Welcome back, Earth Clan. Will you be needing supplies for your return to the colonies? Show me what you've got. Most excellent. I am sure you will find something pleasing. Um, is this better? Uh, it's like not entire. Oh, now that I have them in my party, I can like compare stuff. Okay. Um. I 
Well, he's got the medigel upgrade. There's one. There's another dude who had the grenade one. Um. Oh, hey, a keeper. Whom I've already scanned. Where was the dude with the other one hey, down here? Commander Shepard, it's me, Conrad Burner. Remember me? Oh, what's up? There are rumors on the extranet that you've been made the first human specter. That's incredible. <laughs> oh, it's you. <laughs> Get lost. Right, Conrad. We talked a while back. You remember me? Wow. Guys must try to talk to a lady like, like you all the time, but you remember me. That really means something. <laughs> Can I get your picture? This dude's getting so creepy now. Doesn't he have a wife? Like, he's like, okay, um, no, <laughs> get out of here. Uh, sure. No problem. Just hold up your gun. Perfect. Oh my god. <laughs> he's so creepy. How did you take a picture from Thanks so close? Again, Commander. I'm gonna hang this in my living room. My wife will love it. You're so creepy. Can I just talk to him every time? Like, uh, which quest is that? This is the only thing. Yeah, I guess it just says what heart. Oh my god! I just, I guess, just every time I come here, I'll, I'll just talk to him, and he'll be like creepier, probably. This is the dude who sells Hello stuff. Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? Yes. Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. Um, standard items. Uh, there's the grenade one. Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's Hello. famous shop. You want Talk many faster. good supplies, yes? Let me see what you have. Hmm. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. Um, expensive things you have. I see. Krogan, Quarian. Is this like better though? Um. Yeah, it's better. Not by much. Okay, um... It's like Krogan stuff. Turian, 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 Turian. It's got like the one random Quarian thing. Uh, it's expensive too. I might as well buy this. It's pretty cheap. Sure. Uh, equipment. Oh, it looks different too. What? How do you like? You can like see the different. Okay, looks cool. I want like new armor for Shepard. Hers looks stupid. I don't know. I, I don't like the way the camo looks. <laughs> doesn't look stupid I'm just not particularly fond of it um let's see uh, what was I doing here um, this one no uh, it's one of these not a UN is it? Oh, here it's this one. Um under Admiral Return to the Citadel Tower. Okay. We will do that. I can find a there it is. Boom. Now to wait for it to load. And then after this, 
I need to go to class, so <laughs> I will probably stop recording, and we'll figure out what's up with the suicidal chick next time, most likely, but let's go find this dude first. Um... Do -do -do -do. It's this way. Oh, is it this dude? I remember this dude. No, I'm waiting to speak with one of the counselor's assistants. Hold on. I see you. I see you hiding back here. Commander Shepard, isn't it? My name is Admiral Kahoku. Is there something I can do for you? You sent a recon team out into the Artemis Tau cluster? Yes, that's right. They went missing a few days ago. I've been trying to find out what happened to them, but I keep getting the runaround from Alliance Brass. Do you know something about this, Commander? Uh, they were killed by a Thresher Moth. A Thresher Moth? That's not... My men wouldn't just stumble into a Thresher Nest. Not the entire unit. Uh, Somebody lured them there with an Alliance Distress Beacon. Placed it perfectly so they'd land right beside the Thresher Nest. Damn it. I had a bad feeling about this ever since my team disappeared. An alliance beacon used as bait. My unit wiped out, and nobody seems to know anything about it. Commander, I appreciate what you did. Now I need to do my part. The families of those Marines deserve to know why they died. Uh. Help? Anything you need from me? Not right now, Shepard, but I'll let you know as soon as I find something out. Okay. Cool, cool. Um. Yeah, how long are we at? God, I won't play more. <laughs> but I kind of have class, so um, yeah, I'm going to. Oh, hey, wait, hold on. This chick's here. Shepherd, could I have another word with? You? Hello again, Commander. I've got a proposition for you. Since you helped me get information on the crime syndicate, I've gotten a lot more backing from my publishers. I'm investigating traffic controller conditions now, and I wondered if you could help. What do you want me to do? I've heard rumors that the space traffic controllers are overworked to a dangerous degree. I can't get into the control room, but you could. If you planted a bug inside, I could crack the story. Uh, no, goodbye. Everyone knows space traffic controllers are overworked. How is this news? There's a difference between overworked and dangerous. Traffic at the Citadel has increased by 300% in the last century, but traffic controller resources haven't kept up. We already have several last-minute wave-offs per week. <laughs> Do we have to wait for a full-blown disaster? Uh... This bug you want me to plant, could it interfere with traffic signals? Absolutely not. I made certain that the frequencies it uses won't interfere with anything. Sure. I can't promise anything, but I'll see what I can do. Give me the bug. Excellent. Just place it on a terminal with a good view of the area. Thanks again for your help. In the long run, this story is going to save lives. Sure. Um, yeah. So, with that, I'm going to end off the video here. Um, yeah, next time we'll probably do that side quest. Do the other one about the chick from Mindor. And hopefully get back to more story progress thanks for watching i'll talk to you guys in the next one bye